You may not have known it, but the BGSU men's basketball team is hosting a tournament this week. But you aren't the only one who didn't know or care. With the students on break, the $36 million Stroh Center less than half full the last couple of nights. BG hosting Detroit and former Ball State coach Ray McCallum tonight. He only had eight players by halftime. The Titans take advantage of an eight-minute field goal is dropped by BG and rally from a 10-point deficit to take the lead. Inside two minutes and a half, Craig Seeley, though, finally gets going. He hits from the elbow. Seconds later, D. Brown loses it, but athletic enough to save it to Austin Calhoun, who puts it up and in. Then just before half, Seeley, good. Falcons win back-to-back -back games. They'll play again tomorrow night, 67-61, the final tonight. Now, while the men are in BG, the ladies play up in Detroit. First half we go, BG down 15 at one point. Comeback starts with Jessica Slagle. Three-pointer cuts the lead to five. Two minutes later, Chrissy Steffen, who had a game-high 23 points, goes baseline. BG only down three. Next possession, how about Slagle again? Okay, we'll take it. Slagle, the pull-up J, all nine of her points in the second half. Falcons win the first women's game on the new Dick Vitale court at Callahan Hall, 57-49. UT women hosting Albany and 6-foot, 8-inch Megan Craig from New Zealand did not play, but she is intimidating. It was UT's post presence being felt. However, startled them Yolanda Richardson for two of her eight. Then defense, Nama Shafir the steal. She's going to push it up court. She had 14 points in the game, and she finds Courtney Ingersoll for two of her eight. Then how about the ball movement? Haley Lynn, down low to Richardson, the dish to Lucretia Smith, up and in. UT wins 53-39.